Okay, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Amos Mini by Smokejoy. This product was sent to me by Smokejoy for the purpose of this review. Let's go ahead, open up the package, and see what it contains. Inside the package, you're going to have your Amos Mini Smokejoy user manual. This is going to tell you all of the features of the pod, the dimensions right here, if you want to pause that and take a look, as well as the filling method for the pod itself. Here is the Amos Mini Pod device. It has the cartridge pre-installed, and then we also have an accessory box here. Inside that little box is going to be your USB charging cable. And here is the Amos Mini device. It has a removable, refillable pod. Now what's unique about this device is several things. First thing is that they support both mouth to lung and direct lung vaping on one single pod. And how they do that, let me see if I can get this to focus. So we have on one side a larger airflow opening, and that is going to be for your direct lung vaping, and then a smaller air hole opening here on this side, and that's going to be for mouth to lung vaping. Now the air inlet is going to be each tube, so when you're vaping on this device, it's very important to note, do not try to vape through both holes because one hole will be your air inlet, and the other one will be your air outlet. So one, when you're vaping on this side, air is going to be traveling down to the coil from this side and vice versa. To fill this pod, you just simply open up this little rubber grommet on the bottom. As you can see, it has a pretty small fill port. So normally I would go ahead and try to use my dripper bottle, but I can honestly say I don't think this is going to be able to support a glass dripper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a needle tip bottle. Before I go ahead and fill the pod with a needle tip bottle, I am going to go ahead and test the opening to see if a regular chubby gorilla bottle will fit in the hole. And it does fit there in the hole pretty well. You could go ahead and fill this with a regular plastic stem bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and use my needle tip bottle to fill with e-liquid. And with a needle tip bottle, it just really allows me to get it all the way down in there. And it does allow air to escape from that fill port. So I will say this one, as far as versatility with filling, it's probably not going to be able to be filled with a glass dripper bottle and you may have trouble with some plastic tip bottles as well. So they do recommend that once you fill the device, let it sit for five minutes to properly saturate the cotton and the ceramic. This is a 1.8 ohm ceramic coil inside with organic cotton. And there, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the e-liquid level in there very well. It is kind of a dark, smoky color. I can see the little air bubble at the top, especially if I hold it up to light. It's really easy to see through the pod, but it is a more dark, smoky color. So I can see this one being difficult to see in low light conditions. So while we're waiting on that pod to fully saturate, let's go ahead and talk about the battery. The battery supports a 400 milliamp hour battery internal via the charge. USB right here is how you will charge the device. It also supports a variable voltage. This has three voltage settings. So to adjust your variable voltage, you'll go ahead and press the on off button three times in quick succession. So one, two, three. Well, I guess first we better turn the device on. So that's five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. And now the device is on and it's going to flash green. When the light when the LED indicator flashes green, that is 2.6 volts. Now, if we want to change that, the next option is going to be the blue light, which is 3.3 volts. And then the last one being the 4 volt, and that is going to flash red. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. There we go. Little difficult to get the one, two, three down there. That's blue, so that's going to be 3.3, and then three more clicks one, two, three. And that's going to flash red, and that means that we'll now be firing the device at four volts. They do also mention that there is a preheat function on this device, and that's going to be for really thick liquids. They do say that the, alternatively, this can be used with. Um, other liquids. I'm not going to say the liquids. Um, Charlie Bravo Delta liquids can also be used in this. And with that, they recommend the preheat function. So to use the preheat, 
Press the on off button three times quickly to preheat the thick e-liquid e 10 seconds. The lead indicator will be rainbow color. So let's see that. One, two, three. Well, it went back to green. Maybe it's when the pod is installed. So not sure if I mentioned already, but this pod is a 1 ml capacity pod. And I'm not sure if this one can be put in either way. It looks like it is possible to put it in either way because the contacts are fully centered. So let's go ahead and place it in this way and it flashes two times. Now when charging this device, the red light will turn on and then once the battery is fully charged, the LED light will go out. So that is the Amos Mini by Smokejoy. Let's go back up top, have a vape on it, and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Okay, and that was an up close look at the Smokejoy Amos Mini. So what are my thoughts? Well, let's get right into the pros of the device. So first pro on this device is going to be the fit and finish and that small portable compact sleep design. I gotta say, this is probably one of the thinnest, smallest pod systems I've seen like this. It's so small you could almost fit it in your wallet, though I don't recommend trying to shove this thing in your wallet. It is just that small. It's it's really nice and it's so thin and even though it's small and thin it still has a 400 milliamp hour battery which is right on par with a lot of the sticks the small pod stick type devices that we have out on the market so as far as milliamp hour on the battery life it is right on par with other devices it's nothing to go wow at but it's also not too small nice battery life on this device the next pro of course is going to be that it's a push to fire with variable voltage yes this thing has three different voltage settings basically a low medium and high voltage that you can choose and of course it has pass through or not really pass through but vape while charging which is a huge pro in my book if you guys know me you know i like it when pod systems are micro usb and when they support vape while charging and this one does just that now the next thing is it's a 1 ml pod capacity which isn't very big it's kind of meh but because it is such a low voltage device and it has a high resistance coil in it, that 1 ml capacity really isn't going to affect you too much. You're going to still get quite a bit of vaping time on this thing before you have to refill that pod. One more thing that I did forget to mention when I was talking about the variable voltage is that this device also has a preheat function. Now in the down low, I couldn't figure out the preheat function and that's because I was pressing the button too many times. Two clicks of the fire button and then you're gonna see it goes into like this rainbow. It's just gonna sit and dance colors in front of you there. It's gonna cycle through all the different colors and that's the preheat it does that for 10 seconds and then the light goes off and it's ready to vape and what they say that is for is so is that you can preheat thicker e-liquids thicker liquids in the device and allow it to vape more smoothly and start with a warmer vape. If any of you guys use pod systems like I do, you know that the first couple puffs are kind of like primer puffs. When you hit that fire button, you don't always instantly get vapor and it's not always warm. So I do like that there's a little preheat function on there. Now let's talk about the draw on this device. So it is marketed as a mouth to lung or a direct lung draw with a opening on this side and an opening on the other side. So essentially you have airflow on each corner of the pod. One is slightly larger than the other. Now for me personally, I've tried using this direct lung and while I can, I will say that both of the openings seem more of a mouth to lung draw for me that being one is a little bit tighter mouth to lung and the other a little bit looser mouth to lung let me go ahead and demonstrate from both sides for you so that was the looser mouth to lung side now let's go to the more restricted mouth to lung side Not a lot of vapor when you mouth to lung this device. Let me go ahead and show you a direct lung. So there you see I get much more vapor when I direct lung it and that was from the wider 
air chamber there. Let's go to the smaller cha air chamber. And same thing there. So really you can direct lung on either or you can mouth to lung on either. To me this device is more of a mouth to lung with one side being a looser mouth to lung and the other being a more restrictive mouth to lung. So now what cons do I have for this little device? Well really I only have one con for this device and that is that they didn't include an extra pod in the packaging. I really would have liked to see them include more than one pod in the packaging. I must say this thing on the internet is really cheap so hopefully the pods are widely available for you guys as well. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up. If you're not already click that subscribe button and if you are go ahead and hit that little bell icon so you get notified the next time I upload a video. Until next time you guys bye bye.